he's played more. Yeah. When you got him, he was coming back, just coming back off. And he need, when he missed a few, he led him to miss another one, another one, another one. He's not doing that now. He'll miss two shots and come back and make a shot or two. He's playing physical. He's better with the ball. His decision making is better than it was then. So uh, yeah, he's uh, he, he'll be an issue for us. Charles, what do you think about what do you think about going on the road with your team and bonding and and I was talking to Duran about uh, about pranking each other and things. What are your thoughts when you hear about your guys doing that kind of stuff? No, I'm, I, look, the, the best thing about when school ends and we have that time together and we're going three times a day, including a breakfast meal and an evening meal, and then you go on the road and you're 24-7 for two days and you're together at meals, at shoot-arounds, you know, film sessions, they start coming together. And that's why this time of the year, you know, I like it and I really don't mind going on the road, especially when you're just trying to bring your team together. Are you pro prank though when you hear like Duran saying yeah, that? That's fine. I, I, that doesn't bother me. That's between them. I believe me, I don't go to the breakfast, I don't go to team meals. They see me enough. So whatever that I if I'm there they may not do that. And now all of a sudden they're like, Where is he? Is he watching? <laughs> so I don't I stay away and you know, do my own thing, and then when the bus leaves, you wouldn't believe us. I'm on that front seat. I'm ready to go. Let's go. So, what do you think of Darren Horn? Just some of his qualities, whatever his strengths, maybe the coach, and you think he's going to be able to get South Carolina? Going? Yeah, he's doing fine. I mean, it's a hard job. Um, you know, uh, what he's done uh, to set the stage for where he wants us to go. You know, and he went from man to zone. He's not afraid to try things. Um, and I think he's doing a fine job. It's just, you know, South Carolina's hard. It's a hard deal to get going, and that's why you got to stick with a guy, and you got to give him seven, eight years and let him get it going. Uh, I think the last guy to, you know, really do some stuff down there may have been, what, Frank McGuire? I mean, and it's, you know, it's a good program. It's great school, great facilities. It just, you know, takes time to get it going right. When he was here with his team earlier, he kept saying, we have SEC players, they're just young. Do you see it that? Yeah, I agree with him. I agree with him. And then you just got to keep recruiting. You know, you got this group, and then you bring in another group, and all of a sudden you got eight or nine that could start for anybody else's team, and then you start doing what you're doing. So I, I think, yeah, and no one's going to question his coaching. I mean, everybody knows he can coach. He's you know, done it at uh, Western, and he's done it there. He beat us. We were number one. In the last time we were number one to get beat on the road was down there, and he did it. So, I mean, I, there's nobody questioning his ability to coach. Kyle, you're in the February now. Where is your team with regards to where you want them to be at this point as they can in February? Probably about where they should be. You know, so I'm not going to tell you we're behind, but I'm certainly not telling you we're ahead. We're not ahead. Uh, we still, you know, some of the guys need to take everything up a notch. We're still trying to figure out sometimes, you know, where we're playing, how we finish plays off. We're not quite there yet. Um, but, you know, it's February and we're playing like a February team.